Today we are going to learn how to break limiting beliefs that stop us from attracting money in our life. I call it money limiting beliefs. This lesson is a complete life lesson from my actual wealth mastery course, which will help you not only understand your limiting beliefs, but also break them today, right now during the call itself, during this session, during this video itself. And I'm calling this a call, I'm calling this a session because I'm telling you this is actually part of the live course. So please take complete advantage of it. Watch the whole recording. You'll see how I work with people one on one during these conversations in the live course and what kind of a case study can help you also today to understand your limiting beliefs and break them today right now. So during the call, during the video, make sure that whatever I am doing, attend as if you are in the course. Attend by doing the participation with me. So if I have to exercise you there, do it. do it as if it's live. Karna and then see what results you get. Okay. Looking forward to your results. Let's start the breaking limiting beliefs of money now. Write down the definition of money. Everyone write down. Money is an exchange of value. Money is an energy exchange of value. Now, what do you mean by energy exchange? Money is also energy. What I'm giving in service is also energy. So money is nothing but an energy exchange of value. You have paid me 15,000 rupees for this course today because you believe that I can give you some value in exchange for that money. How many of you agree with that? In fact, you have to give so much value to people. You have to give so much value to people that after people receive your services, people have to tell you you're charging less for your service. Even if you're expensive. I'll give you an example. Have you heard about this car called Mercedes? How many of you remember Mercedes? Tell me how many people aspire to have a car like Mercedes, BMW. Type an I in the chat window if that's your dream. Okay. Is that a cheap car or an, or an expensive car? Tell me in the chat window. Is it a cheap car or an expensive car? Yeah, very expensive. In spite of that, why have you made a desire to buy that car even though it's, it's expensive? I'll tell you why. Everyone write down this word, worth it. <laughs> worth it. How many of you agree the day you buy Mercedes, it'll be absolutely worth it? Raise your hands. Correct? Because you are so convinced that the brand value of the car is worth it. That you feel that even spending that money of five years of my savings is worth it. When people feel that about your service is when people will give you money happily. And when you have that feeling that you can add so much value in people's life, you will ask for money happily without any guilt. How many people right now feel very awkward asking money for, from people? You're not very confident while asking money. Type an I in the chat window. If you have a problem asking for money, that's because you're not 100% sure that the money they are going to give you, you're going to give them 10 times value or not. Most people give equal value. What is equal value? 10 rupee product, 10 rupee value. 10 rupee ka parle ji, 10 rupee ka price, 10 rupee ka biscuit. Is this making sense to you? That's not how you can become a millionaire. To become a millionaire, doesn't matter how much money you ask, what is the amount of value you have to return deliver? Type that number in the chat window. How much value minimum? 10x. Everyone write down 10x. When you're focused on delivering that service and you are 100% confident of delivering that service, will you be desperate to make money now? Or will you be confident to make money now? You'll be confident. Now you're not thinking about kitana paisa log denge, nahi denge, aayega, nahi aayega. You will be 100% confident that I'm giving 10 times value. I know people will give me the money. Is this making sense? And people who don't give you the money today, it doesn't matter because you know if you keep adding value in their life, if not today, tomorrow they will come and buy, buy from you. Is this clear? Now logically we all understand this, but at a belief level, we need to shift this. So how do we shift your beliefs? Let's learn this technique now. Who wants to do a one-on-one -on -one exercise with me to change your beliefs? Did you love what you saw? Did you understand how to break limiting beliefs? Now you're about to learn how to change this limiting belief, how to break this limiting belief. But before we do that, I'm doing a similar wealth mastery course very soon and I want to give you the first lesson of this entire course completely free. What you're watching is not the first lesson. It's somewhere middle in the workshop right now. But I want to give you that first lesson free where you will get more clarity on what this wealth mastery course is and how you can make more money. And it's completely free again. So click on the link which is in the description below. Do it now. Pause the video. Register quickly because there are limited seats. Once you come to that first lesson, your understanding of how you can make more money in life will go much deeper than what you're learning right now. I promise you that. Okay, so now let's continue watching how you can break your limiting beliefs. Let's go. Who wants to do a one-on-one -on -one exercise with me to change your beliefs? Okay, 
So let's go to once again Sachin. Okay, Sachin, tell me one of your limiting beliefs from the Excel sheet that you've identified. Sachin, are you there? I'm not. Okay. Hi. Yeah, now you're there. Yeah. So Sachin, give me an example of one of your limiting beliefs that you identified in the Excel sheet. Uh, that, uh, that is uh, making money is always struggle for me. Okay. Now, what is a belief? A belief is something you feel very strongly about. It's not a light feeling. It's a very strong feeling. Negative, but strong. Correct? So right yes. now when I say making money is a struggle for you, is it true for you or not true for you? It's true. It is true. Now we need to make it not true. We need to break that belief. So how will we break that belief? I will do an exercise with you right now where I will make you remember three things which are not true. Okay. Then I will transfer that feeling of not true in this area, which is true. Okay. That money is a struggle for you, but we want to make it not true for you. Now I know this sounds crazy, but I'll do it for you right now and you'll experience it. Okay. Before I do it with you, all of you, can you give me one limiting belief in the chat window, please? Come on, quickly. Give me the one limiting belief you want to work on. Business is hard. Business is beyond me. I have fear of commitment. Whatever is your limiting belief, write it down. Okay. Tell me the intensity of that limiting belief and the time since when you have this limiting belief. Same questions. So for an example, Sachin, you, when you say money is a struggle for you on a level of 1 to 10, how strongly do you feel that right now? Like uh, it is 8. 8. eight to and nine. for how many years you've eight. had this belief that money is a struggle for you? Uh, 6 to 7 years. 6 to 7 years. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we do this exercise. Okay. Everyone ready to do this exercise with me? Raise your hands, please, physically. I can see you on the gallery view. Okay, great. Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to ask all of you, including Sachin, three questions, and you will say, not true. When you're saying not true, feel the not true. Be aware of your body language. Be aware of your expressions. Be aware of your tone, your pitch, everything. Okay? So here you go. You are bald. Is that true? You're bald. You don't have hair yes. on your head. Is that true? Uh, it's true. You are bald, is that true? Yes, I am quite bald. Okay. So is it true then? Yes. No, it's not true, Baba. <laughs> you have hair on okay. your head, right? Ah, yes, quite. So, yes. so what is the honest answer? If I'm asking you, you are bald, is that true? What is the honest answer? I'm not bald. Exactly. So I the answer yes. I want you to give me is not true. Not. Okay, so once again, you are bald, is that true? Not true. Okay. I'm watching all of you on the gallery view. Answer me loudly. You are bald. Is that true? Okay. Now, everybody has a very different way of saying not true. You have a different way. I have a different way. Whatever is that way, be consistent and remember how you feel when you say that. Okay. Ready again? Great. So, Sachin, you are bald. Is that true? Not true. You are blind. Is that true? Not true. You are dumb. Is that true? Not true. Now dumb doesn't mean intelligently dumb, but dumb means you can't speak. Okay. 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 So once again, you are bald. Is that true? Not true. You are blind. Is that true? Not true. You are dumb. Is that true? Not true. This time I want you to go faster. Like don't process information. Yeah. Say not true because now you know the questions. Okay, okay but feel it. Yes. Remain consistent with it. You are bald, is that true? Not true. You are blind, is that true? Not true. You are blind. You are dumb, is that true? Not true. Once again, now go a little even faster. You are bald, is that true? Not true. You are blind, is that true? Not true. You are dumb, is that true? Not true. Okay. I want you to go faster when you're giving me the answer. Okay. okay. You are bald, is that true? Not true. You are blind, is that true? Not true. You are dumb, is that true? Not true. Perfect. Now we've established that not true answer with you and you're feeling it. I'm now going to transfer that energy to the new statement, which is 
making money is a struggle for you you need to say not true mechanically okay okay so first let me ask you that question and say it with me making money is a struggle for you say not true not true okay now to remind you know that not true feeling i'm going to go alternate bald then money then blind then money then dumb that money so that that feeling of not true has to be real for you and then we'll transfer it okay. got it just go fast with me you are bald is that true not true making money is a struggle for you is that true not true you are blind is that true not true making money is a struggle is that true not true you are dumb is that true not true making money is a struggle for you is that true not true you are b b bald is that true not true making money is a struggle for you is that true not true you are blind is that true not true making money is a struggle for you is that true not true you are dumb is that true not true making money is a struggle for you is that true not true tell me what did you have for dinner last night and all of you say it loudly together i had a uh, chapati okay making money is a struggle for you is that true not true you see how fast that came yeah and it actually feels comfortable doesn't it yes in fact to test it say the limiting belief making money is a struggle for me see how it feels no it is completely say it loudly uh, say it loudly me. say it loudly making money is a struggle for me no it is no, but, making money is difficult ha so say it loudly <laughs> making money is difficult for me does it feel true anymore think, no doesn't like it doesn't feel you yes how many if you are realizing the belief is broken raise your hands if you are realizing the belief is broken because when you are testing it it doesn't feel true anymore yes or no perfect now let's go to the second part of this exercise which is called as creating a new belief okay now to create a new belief we need to have the opposite of the original belief making money is difficult for you what is the opposite of that making money making money is easy for me yeah now right now it is not true but we want to make it true yes so we're going to ask three things which is true for you and then transfer that true feeling here okay okay in nlp this is called as belief transfer technique nlp is a course on neuro linguistic programming which is like the superpower of law of attraction for now you're learning one lesson out of nlp from there it's called as belief transfer technique so once again you have hair on your head is that true true you have you you can see is that true true you can talk is that true true all of you are doing it with me raise your hands physically if you are doing it with me okay once again you have hair on your head is that true true you can see is that true true you can talk is that true true you are 100% sure you have hair on your head true are you sure you can see true are you sure you can talk true okay now let's go alternate you have hair on your head is that true true making money is easy for you is that true true you have eyes is that true true you can talk is that true true you can money making money is easy for you is that true true you have hair on your head is that true true you can make money easily is that true true you you, you can see is that true true making money is easy for you is that true true you can talk is that true true making money for you is easy is that true true i'm going to do third time you have hair on your head is that true true making money for you is easy is that true true you can see is that true true making money for you is easy is that true true you can talk is that true true making money for you is easy is that true true what did you have for breakfast today morning idli making money is easy for you is that true true you see how fast that came yes <laughs> now to test it let's say the earlier belief making money is difficult for me check Making money, no, it is not coming. You see, it's not coming because your subconscious <laughs> is not connecting with it. Yes, Now say, yes. making money is easy for me. Say it and see how you feel when you say it. Making money is easy for me. You see how naturally you said it. It is like your hand yes. movement also aligned with it. Yes. Beautiful, awesome. And meet everyone. Yes. Give him a high five. Congratulations for upgrading your money beliefs.
Congratulations, all of you. Congratulations for upgrading. Wow, how many of you found that easy and practical? Like it's not just easy, but it's also practical because you're able to practice right now. The level of beliefs that you have decides the level of wealth that you attract. Isn't this amazing? You learned how to change your beliefs and upgrade your frequency in the area of your beliefs. Imagine learning this entire Wealth Mastery course and how you can upgrade your income. I want to now invite you for the Wealth Mastery course by not paying. You don't need to pay anything even now. Go through the first lesson again. The reason I'm giving you again the first lesson free because when you join into the Wealth Mastery course, I want you to join with complete faith and complete commitment because in the way you learn depends on how much you learn. I'll repeat, the way you learn depends on how much you learn. I may be willing to give you everything, but while watching and while learning, if you believe ye kaam nahi karega, pata nahi hota hai ki nahi hota hai, then you may not get the best of it. But now I know if you've watched this video till here and you've learned how to change your beliefs, and if I give you one more lesson, or usme se bhi you take a lot of value, by the time when you now then join the actual Wealth Mastery course, the, the way you will learn will be a game changer for me. And that is what I'm looking forward to. Okay, quickly click on the link below in the description. Register now. Remember, I told you there are limited seats. Join the course and go through the first lesson where you will now learn how to make more money in your life in the Wealth Mastery course. See you there.